All right, let's see. While the survivors wander the dungeons, the battle on the surface rages on. The warriors of Canabris are trying to defend the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide. Well, I suppose that means us, right? Assuming that's where we came from. Right. More stuffs. The path is clear. Okay, so we just had one little door we had to go through. Holy crap! Well, they did pretty good work. Irabeth, the half work before you wearing armor adorned with Iomade's golden swords is clearly exhausted. She obviously hasn't gotten much sleep over the last few days. There's soot on her face and fresh blood on her sword. Her hazel eyes are hard in focus and her firm voice sounds accustomed to giving orders. She sizes you up, surprised, judging whether you are a friend or foe, and opens her mouth to ask you something, but freezes when she spots a Nevia. By the goddess, Nevia. I, I'd almost lost hope. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here, I'm here. Anivia strokes Arabeth's head and whispers something in her ear, then stands back and points at you. This is... This here is Hale's Yeah. He rounded up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface. Without him, we'd never... We'd never made it out. She turns to you. Hell yeah, let me introduce you to my wife, Irabeth Terabade, head of the Eagle Watch. The half orc nods. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warding of Kinebres. And you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle, and her stern voice grows a little softer. Thank you for getting Anivia out of there. Well, where are we? The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for Crusaders, but it's now been taken over by the cultists. Well, that's not good. What is the target for this battle? When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. We must retake it at any cost, or the fall of Kinebres will be the beginning of the end of the Crusades, and with him, the rest of the world. So, yeah. Um, seems like it's in a pretty bad way. No doubt, in a bad way. So. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest, but there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking you to help us. Uh, I have important information about the location of a cultist den. 
Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Great Garrison. Uh, we met some mongrels who live beneath Kinnebras. This is land. Surprise steals across Erebeth's face, but it quickly gives way to respect. Most people in Kinnebras think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerged on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. I'm not superstitious, but the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Having a living legend on our side can't hurt. Well, no, it can't hurt at all. Not a bad thing. Uh, come on, living legend? A walking folktale, maybe. I just need to make sure I don't turn into a running joke. Lan is uh, always not thinking very highly of himself. What's the situation in the city? Erebeth slowly drags her hand over her face. The city's gone. Most of the defenders, including the dragon Trindelev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. Don't talk like that. Kinnebrus hasn't fallen. Not while it still has defenders like you and me. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Iomade abandons us, we will fight for Kinnebrus. Tell me about the Wardstone. Why is it so important? The Wardstone was a gift of Iomade, created personally by her herald a mighty angel and general of the celestial armies. The Wardstone keep the world wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Kinnebras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the abyss. I want to thank you everybody for uh, watching. Please don't hesitate to comment, follow, uh, give me directions on what to do. Uh, I'm all for backseat gaming. So don't hesitate. How did the Warstone end up in the Grey Garrison? The demons have long laid siege to Kinnebras. But this time, their lord, Descari, appeared in the flesh. He ripped the wardstone from the ground and hurled it halfway across the city to here. I thought the stone was destroyed, but it seems all is not lost yet. Descari has gone, but the wardstone is surrounded by a whole horde of, other, of those creatures. What are they going to do to it? Nothing good, that's for certain. But how did they, how did he do that? He's a demon. The Warstone should have burned his filthy hide. It should have, but what happened, happened. We don't know why. Well, I guess it's time to stop wasting time. All right, that's the spirit. Uh, you take Anivia to the rear. The rest of you with me. Horcus Quirm, you hear labored breathing interspersed with disgruntled muttering. Horcus is holding his rapier hilt with a white knuckle grip. A bead of sweat trickles down his temple. Lord Horcus Quirm, forgive me, I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe, to the extent that anywhere in Kinnebras 
can be said to be safe right now. Boom, boom, boom. All right. That's right. Fighting spirits is the one thing we've got plenty of. With a croak smile, Lan plucks at his bowstrings to test the tension in it, then lowers his voice. Actually, fighting power? That's not so great. Fighting know-how? Even worse. But fighting spirit? At least we're rich in that. For Ioma Day, for the Queen, kill the beasts. Isabel raises her blade, and the soldiers, inspired by her cry, rush into battle with renewed vigor. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. We're, we're, we're going to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm trying to move. All right, let's go. Okay, hold on, hold on. Not so fast, not so fast. We got, we got things to, we got things to loot. And, and a door to open. Uh, not this time. No. Sealed with magic? Okay, we'll come back for that. Come on, I'm just trying to, you know, get all the loot I can. I'm a loot hobo, I can't help it. Okay, you guys got that side? Ah, you're allowed to all be dead, but we'll be alive. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. They'll just kill you. Really? Did we step on that? as well all right here's what we're gonna do all right what we got is a whole bunch of people over here all right let's say Let's try that. See how that works. Aim carefully. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough here. We gotta switch it up. It's time to go inside. Oh, great. Well, it looks like we're going to be dead here. You won't survive me. I'll just sit here.
Alright, yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay, that wasn't good. Whew. Our duty calls. All right. Well, can I do a short rest? Because, uh, My butt just got handed to me and I got no nothing else going on. My butt got handed to me. In a serious way. It's almost like uh wait a minute, let's see. Where's that at? If I was to do I wish that keep playing, it just doesn't keep playing. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me. Why it does that? Um it's kinda like this. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. All right. The devil's just laughing at me. Okay. Well, let's see how we're doing. We've got a whole bunch of these, so we definitely need to get you and you and you and what is that? Potion of Shield of Faith. Yeah, let's get you one of those. Get you one of these. How many charges are left in there? Okay. We need to get everybody kind of healed up. What is that? Push up a large. What else we got here? Shield of Faith. Bark skin. Alright. Might as well. You're doing pretty good, aren't you? We'll just get you one here, just in case. Okay. I'm just gonna use one here. Use one here. Use one here. Okay. So now that my dumb butt got all like that, because I got killed, I didn't get killed, but I was getting my ass kicked. Okay. And now we're healed back up. Let's go see what else we can fight. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll collect all that. Well, that didn't seem very right, did it? Getting all upset right behind me please report the bugs you find by hovering the cursor well aren't you interesting um it says what is this do we have guests the face of this demoness could be called pretty if it had eyes. Her mouth slowly widens into a smug smirk. Just in time, the place is a bit a mess, and I haven't seen, and I haven't even poured the blood into the goblets yet. Why don't you, oh? The demon's mouth drops open in surprise, and she brings her manicured hand up to cover it. What an unexpected su surprise. Staunton, my little sweetheart. Long time no see. I've missed you so much. Have you missed me? Admit it. You miss me terribly. 
Staunton Vaughn, the aged dwarf from Erebeth's troop, s silent up to now, spits on the floor, his hardened, craggy face with storm weather stone twist, as in if in pain. Mianga, you again, you bitch. Cause if you're not Scottish, you crap. I mean, dwarvish. I'm sorry. Um, Mingo, the one who, the half-orc is too well-bred to spit on the floor, but the name sounds like a slur on her tongue. Be careful, she's the one of the deadliest creatures in the whole demon horde. She was once responsible for a massacre in Kinnebrush. She must be back to finish what she's starting. Well, we got the whole, the whole demon horde over here, and we're going to do some talking. Got to do some talking. Got to do some... Son, do you know this demon? Does he know me? Does he know me? Stoughton, darling, tell them all how close we are. Exactly. That bitch. The dwarf's voice rasps like rusted metal. She's the one who led me astray. She's the reason my life has gone to the abyss. She's the reason why Dresden fell. Oh my. Like butter wouldn't melt. Mingo threatens Stoughton with a dainty clawed finger. What I remember is how eagerly you would run to our tryst. How you begged to see me again. How you promised you'd do anything I asked. By your own free will you said this, and now you claim that Dresden fell because of me? No, no, my dear, that was entirely on your own doing. I'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat. Bink. Bink. Now, Stanton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips, the ones you kiss so sweetly. Stanton, dearest, don't you love me anymore? Remember how good we were together? I was so hoping that we could patch things up. I'll kill you. Alright. Of course she disappeared. Okay, so let's go. We're going to do a little bit of uh, Shield of Faith. Shield of Faith. Um, enchantment. Uh, Spirit Hunter can has a swift attack grant plus one enhancement most for one minute to any weapon she is holding. Enlarge me. You won't survive me. All right. Attack. Okay. Okay, what do we got going on here? Come on now. Alright, so... wonder if I can do that. Light of Angels.
Well, that seems to have went well. I went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. A lot smoother, a lot smoother than I thought. Here we go. Are you straggling back here? Meditate on your mistakes. Yeah. Make you feel better. My little archer land just lagging behind. So everybody rushes into a battle. My little Zen monk just sits there. Just... This one was beyond me. Well, an occult symbol drawn in blood. I can't believe no one has enough religion to get any of this religious stuff right. Cracks me up. Done. Yeah.